Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Good morning, it's uh, seven o'clock on Sunday the 25th of April. Just making my way down to the land and as always, not quite sure what we're gonna get done today, but let's find out. Well, here we are down on the land. Don't know if you can see the uh, white on the grass or not, but it's another frosty morning. I really had thought that by now we've seen the last of the uh, frosts. Certainly the weather forecast wasn't forecasting it, but lo and behold, here we are. Having said that though, there are some quite dark clouds it's blocking the sun this morning. So you never know, this uh, suggestion that we might have rain sometime this week could be true. Be nice if it was, just to get those uh, water barrels topped up. As always, not quite sure what we're going to get done. I'm keen to see if uh, those seedlings have been impacted by this frost or not. Hopefully not. Might be nice to get some more seeds planted. A few little bits and pieces around the chicken coop to be done. But as always, I'll keep you up to date with progress as we go through the day. I've just popped the diesel eater on for half an hour to warm up while the kettle's boiling and while I attend to the little chicks, the sun is trying to get out and I think actually we might not be in for a bad day temperature wise. Morning chickens! <laughs> They're all waiting. I've got uh, some of their favourite aniseed seed mix in there. The, uh, it's just a little treat for them. Okay, get out of the way. Let me in. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. You just know that one day, <laughs> one of these is gonna leap out the door. As I, uh, what's this? Let me look at you all crowding round. Don't peck the bag. Get off. Da, 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 da. No, don't do that. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> Get this one. Look. Yeah. <laughs> attacking my back. Get off. <laughs> I can only do this one under, it's really difficult. <laughs> oh, let me put this down for a second. Sorry about that. Here, see a look. There. <laughs> they absolutely adore this, um, this aniseed flavour. It's like a mixed, all different kinds, and I think I think actually it's the, uh, there's some sunflower seeds in there. I think that's the ones that they really go for. What's this? But they really do like it. These are going crazy down here. What's this? <laughs> it's crazy. Crazy, crazy. They don't get much of this, I just uh, bring a little handful in every now and again. This one knows, it's it's eyeing up the bag that's hidden behind me. <laughs> You'd think they'd never been fed, they've got a full feeder in the coop. And that little metal uh, feeder over there, I can see it's still got seed in. Oh, that's a bit of a mix of corn and uh, layers pellets. But looking at them here, you'd think they'd never been fed. <laughs> crazy. You're crazy birds. Anyway, let me get sorted out and uh, I'll just check inside the coop, see if there's any eggs. I doubt it because it's early. Um, and just make sure that uh, the feed and water is okay in there certainly was last night i think they're just showing off now 
looking for the sympathy vote. Oh, he doesn't feed me. <laughs> Not true. Just opened up the polytunnel because the, uh, the sun is starting to sneak out just above those trees there, which is just perfect <laughs> to shine on the door of the polytunnel. Uh, so it's actually quite warm in there, to be fair. Um, it's as it was yesterday. There's nothing new to see in there, apart from, I noticed there's a few more strawberries putting out flowers. So <clears throat> this one's going crazy with flowers that are everywhere. But there's some on that one, just there. There's a couple down here as well. They really do want putting into a, a bit of a bed rather than those pots now. Um, the main thing I was wanting to check on was that raised bed I did yesterday. Uh, I was a bit nervous this morning, thinking they might have uh, all been killed off, but they haven't, <laughs> thankfully. Because they are small still, to be going out here, unaccompanied. <laughs> I was always also thinking about rabbits last night. I had visions of coming back and finding it all dug up and eaten. <laughs> but it wasn't. So that's good. I'm going to get myself in and grab that coffee. I keep getting distracted with stuff, rather than sitting down and having it. And... Uh, I think we might be able to turn that diesel heater off now as well. Because, uh, mm, yeah, as soon as you walk in the door, massive temperature difference. Those true potato seeds survived the night as well, which is good. I did notice yesterday when I uh, potted these up, there's a couple of more tiny little ones. So I left those cells in that tray just to carry on growing. Um, something else I did notice yesterday, and I forgot to tell you. At least I think I forgot to tell you. <laughs> it's hard to remember what was on the video. Uh, there's a tomato broken through. Single solitary one, but it's a start. So hopefully the rest of the tomatoes and the cucumbers that went in the same time in that tray might also start to make an appearance. We can but hope. Anyway, let me just flick that diesel heater off and I'll go grab that coffee. You can see the sun's actually just peaked up and it's starting to warm up these carrots. So hopefully another hour or so it should be toasty in here without the heater. Well good morning. Sunday morning and another cold one this morning but I've had the diesel heater on for half an hour or so and it's just taken the edge off nicely I uh, didn't want to be lighting that fire this morning it uh, takes a little while to get going and then you've got to keep feeding it <laughs> which is uh, <clears throat> a bit of a pain and if there's no decent wind um, it doesn't burn as well, you just end up with a lot of smoke. Um, so the diesel heater, much quicker, much easier. And for the short time that I needed the heat in here, um, the better option. The sun is creeping over into the garden room now, I can already see it on the uh, one of the raised beds in there. So I think if it's anything like yesterday, by kind of 10, 10.30, um, it'll be very hot actually inside the cabin uh, in the garden room good to see the plants survived this morning <laughs> i was a bit worried uh, i was more worried about rabbits than i was the frost didn't occur to me that uh, we might still be having another frost this morning uh, but they seem okay they seem to have picked up in their new little home i will just need to keep on top of the watering this week if it's anything like last week um, at least twice a week I'll need to run over with the watering can just to keep them going but hopefully if the forecast is anywhere near correct by the end of the week we should be having some rain anyway and I can uh, relax a little bit chickens were really keen to see me this morning 
as they always are. They are crazy. They're, that bag of mixed seed that's got that aniseed flavour in, they absolutely go crazy over that. And they were trying to eat the way through the bag. They just wouldn't leave me alone. You would really think they'd never been fed. Um, but I promise you, <laughs> they've got more food than they know what to do with. Um, there must be something about that aniseed because um, they do go into a frenzy with it. It's quite bizarre. Um, it's interesting, really, to see the little characters um, and to learn more about their habits, their nature. Um, you kind of imagine, until you have chickens, you just kind of imagine that they just sit there and don't do very much. Um, but they do, they've all got their own little characters and it's quite nice sometimes just to sit there and watch them playing around in the, uh, the pen. At some point, um, I might make a little bit bigger outdoor space for them, um, or indeed I might be tempted to let them free range. I am just a little bit nervous of that <laughs> because you just know one of them's not going to want to go back inside the coop. Um, and we do have predators around here that would take them. Um, there is definitely a fox somewhere roaming around. I've not seen it, but I'm pretty convinced the, um, I think I've mentioned this before, the IBC water tank cabinet, um, the roof on that has got a distinct bow in it. Now, whilst that could be weather um, and time, um, I'm inclined to think it isn't because the plastic sheets on this cabin extension, the one which is nearest to the original cabin, has also got a distinct bow and call me crazy, but I reckon that the fox has actually been up on the roof as a bit of a vantage point. Um, indeed, one week there was actually a little crack in one of the plastic sheets and I had to get in there quick with some super glue before it started to spread like it does in your car window. <laughs> the crack starts to spread. Um, uh, so yeah, I'm convinced there is a fox somewhere. My neighbour Gary says that uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, he had an issue with a fox. Um, he's not seen it since either, but they are fairly territorial, so I would imagine if it was here, unless it's dead, of course, um, it still should be somewhere around. We've also got some enormous birds of prey. Um, now, I'm not the world's expert in birds of prey or anything else for that matter, um, but they are big. They're kind of like a buzzard. Um, I'm sure somebody from the UK will probably know what they are, but really big wingspan. They're not the normal little kestrels and sparrowhawks that you see, they're, they're, they're big. Um, and quite often I'll look out over the garden room end of the field and you'll see them just doing a little drift circle in the sky. Um, I've not seen one close up on the field, but I have seen uh, them close up as I drive to and from. Um, there's also definitely owls around. Um, they've got quite distinctive pellets. And uh, there's a couple of fence posts along the boundary and also on the gate at the entrance to the field where I've seen these uh, pellets that they produce little furry poo balls. <laughs> I was trying to get away without seeing poo, but I thought bugger it. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a there's a, a fair few things that, that might be tempted to have a go at chickens if they're outside. So really free ranging them properly is only something I could really do uh, at a weekend when I'm down here. And once I'm confident that they're sufficiently trained uh, to go in and out uh, of the pen. I'd hate to let them out and then <laughs> you can imagine the scene, can't you? Me running round the field <laughs> trying to round up the chickens. Um, yeah, so something 
that I'm thinking of, but um, not for a while yet. You see how easy it is to digress. <laughs> um, wherever you are, wherever you're doing, I hope you're enjoying your weekend and staying safe. Um, not sure how much is going to get done today. Did have a bit of a blind panic yesterday with the video. For some reason, my phone, I've taken maybe three clips and it said the storage was full, which was a bit bizarre because I, I habitually wipe off the clips every time I produce a video and it was driving me absolutely insane because here at the cabin um, I've got nothing to dump the video onto you know a laptop or something like that I have now I've brought it with me in the bag today in case I have some issues today um, but I think I found the problem the recycle bin in the phone it only uh, auto deletes after 30 days I wasn't aware of this. I just naively assumed once I deleted it, it was gone, gone. And it turns out it isn't gone, gone. It sits in a recycle bin for 30 days and then auto wipes. Um, so all of the clips I've taken over the last month have gradually built up, built up, built up in this recycle bin. Um, so yeah, lesson learned, I guess. But uh, yeah, I was nervous yesterday about getting the video out. Um, today, there's a few bits and pieces I want to do. I'm trying to plan for uh, putting out a little extension off the uh, tractor garage to form uh, predominantly a wood store so I can build up some logs for the uh, wood burning stove, but also for general storage. I, I am conscious that I'm, I'm getting more and more materials um, and I always end up after a project with a couple of bits left um, and it's finding a, a space for those but it would be nice over time to build up stores here um, you'll know from lots of previous videos I have this tendency of, of buying what I think I need only to find three quarters sometimes less three quarters way through the project that I'm having to run out and top up um, so yeah storage uh, trying to work out where to put that and on the subject of supplies um, there's a chance I might get some more um, wood and pallets today as well it's all part of this trying to build up enough um, there is a lot of stuff that I do want to do time is always the enemy of course uh, with this wood apart from that wood store I'm conscious that time is passing by and I really wanted to reconfigure the polytunnel get rid of that plastic sheet uh, and net it so that the wind can travel through without it destroying the structure as it has done with the polytunnel um, and also to stop that overheating problem I had last year where things like the, t the tomatoes the cucumbers and the peas especially the peas um, all got fried because it, there was too much heat building up in the polytunnel so, yeah, as always, lots and lots of stuff on my mind. It's just finding the time to do it. I mean, I've not done too bad this weekend, but it is Sunday already. Um, having the sleepover Friday night meant that a lot of my normal Friday night domestic chores didn't get done. And I'll have to catch up on those. So it won't be a full day for sure down here. Um, but whatever it is I do get up to, I'll share with you on the video. Um, before I go, and I do need to get this coffee. <laughs> it's already going cold. Um, just want to say thanks for all the comments that I do get on the videos. Um, it is really nice to see people commenting and sharing their thoughts and sharing their tips. Way too many um things that get posted in the comment section for me to repeat through the course of these video chats um so if i don't mention stuff it's not because i'm ignoring or i'm ungrateful it's because there are lots of them um but i do always uh acknowledge the comments i do always try to reply to the comments so please do keep them going it helps me a lot uh, there's a lot of people out there with a lot of knowledge and I'm always grateful for people who do share the knowledge, but the other people who view the videos and view the comments, 
I'm sure that they appreciate the comments as well and for you taking the time to, to share your thoughts and your tips with not just me but everybody else in our little prepping community. So yeah, thank you very much for those and, and keep them coming. Uh, but for now I'm going to get cracking, get this coffee down me uh, and start having a little wander outside. A wonder and a ponder as to what I'm going to get done today. Just thought I'd give the uh, little red tractor a quick uh, warm up. It's not been out for a while. <laughs> you just know I might be tempted to run up the field with it, don't you? <laughs> Well, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> I just wanted to uh, have a run up the side of the woodland because that's the part of the field where the grass tends to grow the longest because it's got that bit of shade and it's got the uh, additional benefit of the water running off the leaves so it gets nicely fed and shaded to, to grow bigger than the rest of the field. And to be fair, the rest of it doesn't really need cutting yet. Uh, but it's nice just to get the little red tractor out and give it a little run and uh, just try and keep on top. My favourite delivery man's arrived. <laughs> I have no clue where he's got in the back of the van but uh, I guess you'll find out shortly. Look at all these dandelions, eh? Millions of them. If they're there next week, I'll do something. Uh, some kind of cooking related thing. So, fingers crossed. It's another van full of pallets. <laughs> Gonna have to find a use for these now. Well, the pile's getting bigger and bigger, which is great. Plenty of uses I can put those to, <laughs> as always it's the time. Uh, and humping them across the field isn't the easiest thing to do either. So it's great that I've got uh, a helping hand there to get them offloaded and across the field. Well, we're just having a bit of a sort out. Uh, it looks like this rain is coming, so we're just trying to match up the variety of different pallets that I've now got. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a timber yard and also for the polytunnel these big sturdy blocks which will uh, go to make the framing around the outside so a bit of heaving and tugging going on but uh, just need to see what we've got and sort them into the different sizes
Well, I'm just having a bit of a tidy up in the polytunnel and uh, transplanting some of these strawberries, of which there are loads. Absolutely loads. So I'm just giving them a bit of space before they get too pot bound. Hopefully they'll uh, thank me for it. I'm just looking for the one with the least amount of plants in. I've got a plan, a cunning plan for these, but uh, they are pretty much rock solid in their little cells. Look at the roots on those. But they have been overwintered, so I guess it shouldn't be a huge surprise. Somebody's walking by on the uh, the bridal way with a sounds like they've got a jukebox going on. God, the roots on these is unbelievable. But that's what we want. We want strong plants. And that's exactly what we've got. Got a nice little tub of these now. You'll have seen all those pallets outside. I've uh, got a cunning plan for one of those. I was watching a, uh, a YouTube channel, uh, I think I mentioned it when I was talking about beekeeping, I'm not sure, I've mentioned it to somebody recently, I know, um, in fact it might have been my boy Sean, I'm not quite sure, but there's a channel, it's a, a girl in the Isle of Man called Lovely Greens, um, a whole host of gardening stuff on there. Uh, and beekeeping as well actually so if you're into your gardening or you want to learn a little bit more about bees there's the channel called lovely greens so take a little look was going to come out. <laughs> We're almost there. A couple more to go in here. And that tray will be done. Look at the root. Unbelievable. Right, just needs filling round. And we'll be done. Might look like I'm being a bit rough with these, but they can't be any worse off than they were in those little seed tray cells. They really didn't have anywhere to go, but now they will. And hopefully 
we'll be getting a decent amount of strawberries this year because there's certainly no shortage of plants Right, this is going to want a good watering, but how does that look? I'll give you a quick run round. I've just had a bit of a move around in here, moved the fig over to this far end. You'll have seen me just thinning out these strawberry plants. Um, I've got buckets on standby for more carrots, perhaps more little tree uh, cuttings. Everything's in a nice water. Those strawberries have got a bit of growing space now in that trough. There is a plan, but I don't have time today for the others. I've moved the carrots out of the garden room into the polytunnel. And I've got a bit of space there to add more buckets as I go along. The uh, potatoes are all in here now. Out of the garden room as well. Uh, so they're ready to go. We've got the four big ones that have been fully mounded up. Two smaller ones which have just been planted last can't remember when it was. Was it last weekend? <laughs> or was it Friday? I honestly don't know. And two ready to go that are empty. Um, I'll quickly run you into the garden room. Wood pile is now doubled in size. <laughs> um, that's the pallet I'm going to be using for my strawberries. But I just literally don't have time today. The day has gone so quickly. It's amazing how quick it does go. So in the garden room, I've moved the fruit trees in. How does that look? Does that look better? Um, main reason for that, twofold. Firstly, they've got more height in here than they do in the uh, polytunnel. Um, and secondly, I think it just looks nice to have the fruit trees in here. <laughs> I've kept my true potato seeds in here. I'll keep an eye on those because they weren't looking after properly. And I've just moved a couple of pots of strawberries in here as well. Which, as you can see, this one is throwing out no end of flowers. Um, had a bit of a thin out in here, obviously. Uh, everything's pretty much as it was this morning. There's nothing else that I've noticed during the day. I did show you that tomato plant, so... That was the only new addition. Hopefully, uh, by next weekend, we'll have some movement uh, with these other seed trays. So, still no sign of those peas. I'm praying that they do come. Um, cauliflower, doubtful we'll see those next weekend. They're still too young. Um, the other peas, nothing happening. Hopefully, we'll have some more tomato plants and maybe a cucumber. Um, who knows? I do have lots of other seeds that I really did want to get in, but I just literally don't have the time. I need to have a tidy up and uh, get myself back home. So we'll shut this raised bed. It can now. I've taken the true potato seeds out. And we'll see what happens with those. Uh, do let me know what you think about moving the trees in here. I'm always keen to get your comments. Well, a big bumblebee up there, look. Go do your thing on those strawberries. <laughs> oh dear, I'm not going to try and get that out. It's going to have to stay. Um, yeah, so let me get tidied up because it's uh, almost time to be going. Well, there's always one last job. I almost forgot to uh, top up the water for the chickens. <laughs> Shame on me. But I didn't <laughs> forget. Everything's locked up. <sighs> Not a bad day today, cool first thing, but after that it's actually got quite warm. And the sun is still hot even though it's late in the afternoon. A bag of rubbish there to take away. I mustn't forget that. And uh, that's it for today. Get myself home, something to eat, and uh, we'll get this video uploaded for you. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Well, that's it for this video. I hope there was something in there that was of interest to you. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. As always, welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. 
How's that wood pile looking? It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but it will come in for good use a little bit later in the year. And how about the uh, move around of the planting? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.